Hey ladies, we are back with another video. I didn't get to make one last weekend, so I'm so excited I get to make one this weekend. Um, I've been waiting like three weeks to use my pigment stack that I got from Ya Lordy Lashes. Um, this is my first time using one of these, and it's going to be my first time doing a look like this that is totally outside the box for me. So I'm hoping that it all works out and um, that it turns out good. So let's get started. So I'm starting with the foundation as my base, like I always do, I'm using the same two wet and wild brushes that I always do. This was something so new for me that I was so focused on what I was doing that I wasn't really showing everything that I was doing and everything that I was using. Like, I don't think I showed the brushes that I used to make the lines. Um, I actually used all eyeliner brushes. I had gotten three new eyeliner brushes from Morphe that had actually just came the day before. And I used them for all of the, um, all of the lines that I did. And I'll put, um, their numbers in the description. This was my first time ever using loose pigments. I really, really, really like the colors, but it was strange <laughs> using them. Um, it was almost like a setting powder. Like if I rub some on my hand, the more I rub it, it just kind of disappears. And the whole reason I got them was because you're supposed to be able to mix them with water and use them as a liner, but that did not work, not even a little bit. I started with the purple, now I'm going in just above that with the pink. They didn't really blend as good as I expected. And it sucks the, um, the neon yellow that I used at the top, which is one of my all-time favorite colors. You couldn't even hardly see it. It was really hard choosing just four of the colors to use. I wish I could have used all of them. Plus, y'all know I hate when it goes all the way up to my eyebrow like this. But I didn't have much room to work with. I wanted to have enough room for the design. So I had to make it a lot higher than I normally do. I kept feeling like the pink was kind of overtaking the purple, so I kept having to go back and add more. And you can see that it's all under my eye, all over me. This is why I always say that you always, always, always do your eyeshadow before your foundation. I'm using my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in Marshmallow to cut the crease, like always. And my Zoeva 144 brush. <coughs> Now 
Now normally I'm super focused on the camera and super focused on making sure that I'm, you know, looking at the camera and all that, but I was so into the makeup that I was in my own zone. I wasn't even really paying attention. So this one might not be as good as my other one. And since this is a full cut crease, I'm taking the line all the way out. I tried to mix the pigment with just a tiny bit of setting spray, but it just kind of sprayed it all away on my hand, and it still did not turn out um, like a liner whatsoever. I ended up just using it plain dry because it just was not working for me. It was getting like really clumpy. And it was almost like I had to put it on super thick for you to be able to see it and then like blow the chunks off. I don't know if that makes sense. And I'm sorry guys, I didn't realize my mirror had gotten into the camera view. If you can see how the inner corner of my eye, the green isn't as bright, that's when I was trying to use it wet. And then towards the middle down, I just gave up and used it dry, and I feel like you can even see that it's a lot brighter. that hair is sticking to my face <laughs> it's bugging me so bad my OCD can't take it I'll just wipe it away
I'm so salty because <clears throat> this eye actually did not turn out as good as the other eye. The other eye that I did off camera, I guess because, you know, I had already done this eye first, so I had kind of gotten the hang of it. It wasn't anywhere near as good. And there's a spot down on my eyelid towards my lashes that for some reason the pigment just would not go on there. Like it literally just would not go on. I kept putting it on. You'll see over and over and over again. And it would not stay on there. So I ended up at the very end when I wasn't recording. Having to go back and try to fix it. And it still was a little messed up. Plus, I'm sure you've noticed I got a new backdrop. I'm super, super excited. I was so excited to finally get to use it. Um, Y'all will have to let me know in the comments which one you all like better. This one or the white one. So I'm starting out with a circle, just a little circle. Now I'm going around it, outlining it in the pink with an angled liner brush. Right at the bottom of the pink circle <clears throat> is where it did not want to stick, especially when I did the yellow. Now I'm going around that, making another outline with the yellow.
can see it, but there's literally like a little white spot right there where it just would not sick. Now I'm doing another outline with the purple. On this eye, it was kind of hard keeping the circle shape. I was just so wrapped up in doing lines, I wasn't paying attention to that it was still creating a circle. Um, I did a better job of that on the other eye. I was more aware that I needed to make sure that all the lines were curved. And I did not do a wing for this look. It felt so naked without it. I always do a wing. Um, but I'm not very good at doing really big, long wings. And so I didn't want to mess it up and have to bring it as far out as the design was and take away from it. So I just figured I wouldn't do one at all.
think I'm getting close to the end. And just because I forgot to say this in the next video clip, make sure you like and subscribe and check out my other videos down below. I've still got a Bosley hair giveaway video, a uh, giveaway going. <laughs> just like, subscribe, and share the video. There's been lots of people that have only done one or two things and will say done, but they haven't done everything. So make sure you do all three things. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you can see the next time I post a video. I try to record them every Sunday since that's the only day that Brandon is off work and can sit with the girls while I do it. But you know, sometimes he has plans, so. And I know this video was a little bit longer, but this look was a little bit harder. There's that damn spot that <laughs> don't want to go on. <gasps> I even tried to go over it with eyeshadow and it still wouldn't work. I was so confused. Hey guys, this is the final look, the end result. I didn't want to film the entire thing because it already took me so long to do just one eye and really just the top of the eye. I didn't even do um, the smoke out on the lash line in the video. I didn't do the lashes or the mascara or any of that because it was already so long and it's so hard to download the videos when they're longer and I know that it's hard to get people to watch them when they're longer. So. Um, I try to make it as short and quick and easy as I could. Um, and this is the final result. I've never in my life done anything like this. And this is actually my first time I've ever used the pigments. Um, and it was <laughs> really hard. I think I'm going to redo this with actual eyeshadow. Because it was really, really hard to do with the pigments. Um, there was one spot you can see in the video. There was one spot on my eyelid that just would not take for some reason. I mean, I kept going over it, kept going over it, kept going over it. And it literally just would not go on there. Um, and, um, of course, the eye that I did off camera turned out a little bit better than the eye that I did on camera. And I didn't do any eyeliner because I was so scared to mess it up i wanted you to be able to see it all i didn't want to take away from it and i was so nervous because i feel like the lashes stick a lot better when i have eyeliner on so i was so scared that the lashes weren't going to stick and it was going to ruin the whole thing but i hope you guys like it i'll see you next week